Hey everyone, it's Neil with Wild Fox Woodworks and WildFoxWoodworks.com. Today you've reached the tutorial on how to create palette pictures, both raised on the board and cut out like this one here. So, let's get started. First you start out by choosing the palettes that you want, the width and the length. Once you've picked your palettes out, turn them over so the face uh, that you want to have showing is facing the ground and what you're going to need is two support bars one on each end close to the edges and you can see that I used a nail gun a finished nailer and nailed them from the back so that you don't see any nail holes in the front on both the front or the top and bottom Okay, so you can see here that we have another pallet. The braces are the same. They've been stapled with the finished gun from the back. But this design is going to be a lot more intricate, and we're going to need to put a piece of backing on. So when we get to some of the pieces that would fall out, they won't due to this piece of backing that we're going to put on. So. I've just got a thin piece of ply and what we did is we cut it down to size and we're just going to set it on the back. Uh, the best way to do this is to put glue around the outside and then we're going to use our finished nailer and we're going to tack it in just a couple of places so that the glue itself dries tight to the boards. And this will allow us to get a more intricate design put on the palette itself. Okay, so we're just gonna use Gorilla Glue, the wood glue. Turn it over, and we've got finished nails that are short enough that they will not go all the way through the front, but long enough that they'll connect the back. Okay, so now that we have our palette ready, what I do is I use an opaque projector, which allows me to transfer an image directly onto the palette that we're gonna trace. So now that I have my image on my palette, I'm going to trace the entire thing in pencil, just the outline. Now that we've got our palette ready, we've used our opaque projector, we've traced our design that we want onto the board, it's time to cut it out. Now on ones that have the backing where you're going to have more intricate design, you're going to need to use a drill to get into some spots to get your jigsaw started. So what we're going to do is drill in a couple of places. And what these are are starter holes 
so that we can get our jigsaw in here and start making some of these tighter turns. Now on a more simple picture, uh, such as a dolphin, I'll show you a little bit later that you can actually save the pieces that you're going to cut out and you can have it raised on a pallet and actually have two separate designs. So now we're going to use our jigsaw and we're just going to start cutting out this design. Now if you're smart and you're able to cut the pieces out, save them, because now you've got a second piece over here that's in the shape of the dolphin that I cut out, and you can make that its own standalone or put that onto a board and have it raised, and it looks really nice as well. Here you can see a few others, uh, reindeer, and this one's just a, a deer. But what you'll find out is pieces like this, they're floating. So they actually have to have some sort of backing behind them. I've got a, a tiny, tiny thin piece of wood going across in order to support this one. And the same over here. This entire piece is just floating, so it's got backing. This piece here, this piece here, and this piece here. So, on something that's more intricate like that, you're going to have to have a backing on the whole thing so when you cut it out, your, uh, your floating pieces, they don't fall out. So here are a few final examples where we put stain over the top of the pallet in order to make it stand out a little bit more. That dolphin that you saw a little bit earlier, that one's here, and we put an aqua stain on it. The cutout of the dolphin that we had I've now attached it to the back of another pallet. Back of the pallet is a briar smoke and the dolphin itself is now raised over the pallet and uh, stained aqua. You can see that some of these are a little bit simple, like the dolphin, or you can save it, or the more intricate ones, like this dragon up here, that one's going to be one that you cannot save and you're just going to have to cut out little piece by little piece. Um, here in a second I'll show you some pictures of what these look like with the LED lights behind them. It really makes them stand out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please view some of our other tutorials. Uh, friend us on Facebook. Check out our website, wildfoxwoodworks.com. Follow us on Instagram. If you have comments, please let us know. If you have questions, feel free to email us. We'll get back to you. And this is Neil with Wild Fox Woodworks. I'll see you next time.